Okay, let me let me pack it up. It's not leopard. It's actually the animal print. Hi, Shakespeare's. Hi, YouTube. Hope you guys are having a great week. Today's video is going to be all about fall trends. So if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi and this is my channel. Our goal here at Supple Chic TV is to help you style your life better. So please consider, if you like what you see, subscribing down below. First of all, I feel like we're living in an era where um, everybody is kind of creating their own trends. Style is so individual. There's so many, because of access to information and because now you can look at almost all the runway shows yourself and interpret, you know, the shows for yourself. And you can decide what you think is trend. So as you know, every, every I was going to say every fall, every season I score the pages, research, look all over the internet for all the top trends, and I always make a list of the most wearable trends for curvy girls or plus size women. Um, so this season is no exception, so if you are here for that, then let's get into the video. Let's talk about the trend. So the first trend I'm actually wearing, and I think it's probably, from what I've seen, is like one of the main trends that I've seen consensus over, and that is the leopard print trend. Okay, let me let me pack it up. It's not leopard, it's actually the animal print trend. Animal print is huge for fall and winter, and I feel like it's a trend that no matter your size, you can incorporate because you can incorporate it in so many different ways a headband a bag a scarf shoes you know a shirt pants a full-on leopard outfit with a coat as well you can if you want to so uh, the animal an animal print trend was pretty big and the one of the main prints was definitely the leopard print and honestly I kind of knew that it it was it was a trend because when I was looking through the Nordstrom sale catalog I saw that there were quite a few shoe options in the leopard category not just leopard there was also the giraffe print that i saw a lot of and also like the cow print so the giraffe the leopard and the cow print those were the three main animal print a lot of us already have leopard print in our wardrobe i have a belt i have this top you know and i have shoes in leopard print so i always loved leopard print because i always like to add like I, I wear a lot of neutrals and I always like to add like a pop of print to a look and leopard actually works really well It really works really well as a neutral itself So I've always incorporated leopard print into my sort of like look um, This top was thrifted so you don't have to like break the bank You don't have to go spend a lot of money to follow this trend for most of us You probably already have it in your wardrobe. So shop your clothes. I also want to put in this disclaimer that you don't have to follow any trends if you don't want to. I personally like following trends because I like my wardrobe to be current. Pick what you love and discard what doesn't work. The second trend I want to talk about is the color. I always love incorporating colors into these like trend roundups because again, no matter what your size, you can wear color. Um, and the color of the moment is definitely going to be the red family. I feel like the last couple of years, red the red family has definitely kind of like had a strong presence from millennial pink to actual pink to now red. Even red was big last fall and winter as well. Red is definitely a big color for fall and winter. And I, I would say if you really want to add cheek points, red and pink together. Like I saw this outfit with this red sweater and these pink pants and then some red booties. I need to get some pink pants because I would love to recreate that look. So yeah, um, if you don't want to go like full on red and pink, again, you can incorporate it in just little ways, a red lip, a red bag, red shoes. You know, you could bring it in however you like. I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. It's because I have a bit of a summer cold. Um, my apologies if I sound nasally, but the show must go on. Um, the next big trend for fall and winter, I think, is the 80s trend. Um, I feel like over the past couple of seasons, we've been seeing a lot of era specific trends we saw the 60s then we saw the 70s we saw the 90s and now it is the turn for the 80s so power shoulders ruching neon 
all that good stuff, okay? When you think 80s, this is, fall and winter 18 is the season for it, okay? So for some of you guys, you guys can probably go raid your parents, your mom's closet, you can raid your own closet. Um, all that style, you can go thrifting, is really big right now. I think the most, for me, um, the most, I guess wearable way to interpret the trend would definitely be through color. So neon, like electric blues. You guys saw that I purchased some electric blue um, pumps in my Nordstrom haul. It also has that very 80s style shape. So, and if, we're seeing a lot of 80s style shoes, flats, heels with the cone, like the conical sort of like shape, that whole, you know, vibe. Um, so pieces like footwear, um, bright colors like neon pink, bright, you know, acid yellow. Um, also, you could also pick tops with like full voluminous sleeves. I love tops with full voluminous sleeves and voluminous shoulders. I don't have, I have a very, you know, narrow shoulder, so I'm totally open to exaggerate it. It would actually help balance out my hips. You definitely want to avoid looking too costumey, so I wouldn't do like a whole 80s, like, suit from the thrift store i'd probably break it up you know you could do like the high-waisted um tapered trouser with something more modern like you know like a t-shirt or something and then you can do the blazer with like a more modern cut of jeans like a straight leg so you can you know have a little bit of fun so that's going to be the third trend the fourth trend let me stop because I can't think. So of the it. next big trend for fall and winter 18 would be the plaid trend. Now, I really didn't want to talk about, like, I really had a hard time with this one because, like, I feel like plaid comes in every freaking fall and winter. Like, it doesn't fail. An iteration of plaid comes in. This year, the iteration of plaid that came in is definitely going to be the 90s plaid. The 90s plaid. Clueless plaid. Cher Horowitz. That yellow and red plaid mix. Very, very in for fall and winter um, 18. Again, this is something that you can easily thrift if you have a good eye for that. Um, I've been seeing those kind of like prints pop up. I saw like a, a pair of leggings from Fashion Nova that was totally the whole Cher Horowitz, you know, plaid. And I was like, oh, I could I could get that. Throw, throw on like a black t-shirt and like a black biker jacket and that would totally work for me. You know, maybe like some combat boots and that would, <laughs> that would be so 90s by the way. Um, but yeah, think about 90s plaid. That's definitely huge right now. Um, you could do it. Um, I think with plaid it's a little bit tricky because I you know you don't really see like plaid bags but you could definitely do like a plaid scarf um if you know it's too much for you like I said I was I saw the leggings and I thought that was cute um on the runways we saw like jackets um blazers actually out of that whole Cher Horowitz plaid clueless plaid um so those are all the ways that you can incorporate plaid into your wardrobe but definitely plaid is a big trend i know um i want to say the whole line of florals for spring plaid for fall original but anyways so yeah the next big trend is going to be the statement outerwear trend and i feel like it really feeds off of all the other trends that are happening right now so think about like a leopard coat or like an oversized shirling coat or um, a printed plaid coat um, just anything that's really statement really bold big lapels a, you know a bold belt just things that a bright color statement outerwear was definitely seen on many runways so guys that is it for my top wearable fall Eight, fall and winter 18 trends um did i miss one how do you feel about trends are they a yes are they a no i know for some it can be controversial don't worry don't worry i'm not going anywhere yes i will be down below so let's continue that conversation if you like this video share it with a friend and don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,